Welcome to the Iron Society podcast, where we build men of God to become husbands and fathers that change the world. No man should have to struggle through life alone or lacking the tools they need to win and dominate life. Every week, we will bring you an inspiring and actionable conversation that will forge you into the man and leader God has called you to be. Welcome to the Iron Society. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Iron Society podcast. I'm Cody Chapman, along here with my bestie with testes. (laughs) Wow, that's a new one. Yeah, dude. Well, I've said. I mean, it's the truth. We've said that before. I've never heard that. Yeah, besties with testes don't test these besties. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We no, that's we said that in Fire Academy all the time. That was you and Zach. It probably was. That couldn't be me. Okay. Anyways. Uh, this is a special episode because it's the first episode that we are trying to record visual with this as well, with a camera. So if this is not posted on YouTube, it means something went wrong and we're just <laughs> going wrong. audio. Yep. If it's on YouTube, hi, YouTube. Hello. Good to see you. Boom. Um, you're welcome for being able to see our beautiful faces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're just trying it out this week because we've been pressing record now. This is episode, I believe, 12. I yeah, think we're easily double digits. I, yeah, we're easily yeah. double digits. Um, but we're going to start trying this because video podcasts are a thing. Why not? And I love YouTube. So, that you um, do. yeah. Anyways, today we are talking about building momentum mm. and going on vacation mode, as it were. Um, we're getting right ahead into Q4, which for those of you that don't know the quarters of the year, Q4 is October, <laughs> November, December. Um, Q4 is typically, I think, the second time of the year where people start to go off the rails. Certainly. The, the first Certainly. being summer. The holidays. Yes. Yes. Right? It, it is, it's the season where you let your foot off the gas in almost er- every area of your life. It's the season that usually is the, the reason why you are required to get back in the game come yes. New Year's, right? Yeah. Your New Year's resolution is because you failed miserably during the holidays. Yes. Yeah, New <laughs> exactly. New Year's resolutions are for people that wrecked their lives in Q4. Yes. Right? They Correct. gained 30 pounds or 20 pounds. Um, like, they just let their foot off the gas, right? It's like, oh, I, I, should, I need to start reading my Bible again because, I don't know, the most Bible I got was my pastor preaching a Christmas message, you know? Yeah. Um, but the, the bigger reason why we're talking about this is because, it, and it was so odd, I'll just tell them the story, is what, a week and a half, two weeks ago? Yeah, about that. Um, we're, we're having this conversation about, like, when guys go on vacation mode. And in the context, because, you know, obviously we just finished summer, mm-hmm. and a lot of the guys in the Iron Society went on vacation, yep. you know, had babies, all these things. And I started noticing a consistency of something that I've seen for years in guys, but because of our kind of more intimate relationship with a lot of the guys in the Iron Society and being around them so much, I started to put dots together and we started having this conversation about, isn't it interesting that we see guys go on vacation, right? And they don't do their check-ins and check-outs. They're not as engaged in the group because they're on quote vacation mode, right? And then when they're not in vacation mode, they come back, they're way less engaged. Yeah. Um, they kind of went off the rails a little bit. And then three, four weeks later, after they've come back, they're like, guys, I'm having a lot of trouble getting back into rhythm, back into routine and all of this. Uh, my nutrition went off. I'm not working out as much. I'm not, in my, I'm not in the Bible as much. My wife and I aren't communicating as well. Blah, 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 blah. Just, I mean, the list goes on of all these things. And we were having this conversation. And then quite literally, like a week later, one of the guys that was on vacation mode came out with this story of how he had fallen off the rails. Yeah. Right. And we looked at each other and we're like, weren't we just talking about this? Like, this is what we were just talking about. Yeah. And props to him. He owned it. Oh, right. Thousand like, percent. He came out and was like, hey, here's exactly what happened. Yes. I see clearly my mistake. It won't happen again. Yes. Right. And, and even when, when he posted in the group, he's like, hey, I'm going to have a hot conversation, mm-hmm. right? And for mm-hmm. those of you that don't know, in the Iron Society, we call hot conversations. They're honest, open, and transparent conversations. 
it's how I think men should live with other men. Yes. And he, he laid the whole story out and said, Hey, I, man, I learned my lesson. I'm turning around right now. Yep. And you know, even my response to him was like, look, dude, you, this is not a loss. This is a lesson, yep. right? You either win or you learn and you're learning something right now. Yep. However, I do think big picture, we need to have this conversation about momentum mm -hmm. because you're always building momentum, mm -hmm. always either for or against what you are trying to accomplish or who you're trying to become. Yeah. You're always, always, always building it. Yeah, either the right direction or the wrong direction. Yeah, and we were even talking about, before we pressed record, it's very similar. I mean, I know everybody has been into some kind of, you know, Macy's or Sears or, you know, whatever kind of store. And there's the escalators that are, one's going up and forward, and the other one, as you're going that way, is going backwards and down, Yeah. right? I think that is a lot how I think momentum is being built. You're either going upward and in the direction you want, or you jump off, you jump the rail, go to the other side, and you start going backwards and down. I think that's a great visual because it's not like you're just stopped mm -hmm. and you're just standing there. Yeah. As you were talking earlier, time keeps moving. Yes. Right? Everything's still going and yep. you're just standing there. And, and that's not even, I don't think, true. Because you literally, if, if you get off the escalator that's going up, you have nowhere else to go but down. Yeah. Right? You can't stay in the middle. Yep. And that's why I love that example. It's not like you're just off the path having a picnic. Yep. You know, whatever. No, yeah. you, you actually are heading the wrong direction. Yep. And, and that's why I really believe momentum is either your ally and it's working for you or it's your adversary and it's working against you. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. And, and this is, this is exactly why I'm starting to develop this, uh, this philosophy. And I'm not, I, I'm not, I haven't drawn a line in the sand yet. And I, I even told the guys in the Iron Society last night, because we were talking about this a little bit. I, I'm not going to draw a line in the sand yet with my expectation of the men that we lead of being like, Hey, when you go on vacation, you're still doing check-ins and checkouts. You're still doing all these things. I'm not willing to write the line in the sand yet. I'm close. Okay. Because I see the fruit that it produces when it happens. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. But I, I, what I don't understand, and I'm trying to wrap my head around this. And this is why I think I'm not willing to draw the line to saying yet. Cause I think I still need to process it more and, and really dive in more. I don't see the benefit of forsaking the positive rhythms, routines, and disciplines that you've built in your life. When you go on vacation, when you have a baby, all of those things. And I get that those are all departures from a normal rhythm, but I think when we are building momentum, there are certain standards or like there's the big blocks in our lives that we put there for a reason, mm -hmm, right? Because mm -hmm. at some point in our life, we realized we were not heading in the direction we wanted to go. And so we started putting these things in place to start building momentum in the right direction, right? We're 50, 60 pounds overweight. So, okay, so we start working out and eating better, mm -hmm, right? Because mm -hmm. we don't want to go there. We don't like what that produced. Um, our marriage was going in a certain direction, so we put certain things in place. Um, our spiritual life wasn't thriving the way we wanted to, so we put certain things in place. So why in the world would you want to go on vacation or when you have a baby, you just you, you let your foot off the gas with all of those things that were putting you in the right direction? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it was a pain point that caused you to begin to live in such a way that enabled you to be set up for success, right? Yep. There's, there's intentionality with these things. We call them our, our non-negotiables. <laughs> non there you go. Still Words. Right, I don't think. Words. Yeah. <clears throat> that, you know, it's just no matter what happens, this is what we do. Yeah. Right? We're going to eat right. We're going to work out. We're going to show up as a husband, as the father that they yep. deserve, right? Yep. Like those are non-negotiables that we just do not allow to be edited or changed or manipulated in any shape or form because yeah. those are values that we have yes. right and yet it's really interesting when a guy goes on quote vacation mode it's almost like they revert back to this old body this old way of thinking this yeah. old and i don't know if it's comfort i don't know if it's nostalgia i don't know you know, it makes me think about, you know, Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite, you know, <laughs> watch me throw a football over them hills. Back in you know, the day. You know, you know, he was the quarterback that, you know, and he's living off of these memories that makes him feel good, yet it's not reality, and ultimately it's not good for him. Yeah. He's, 
he's literally heading the wrong direction yep. in life. And and yet for some reason we think we're on vacation mode, hey, I'm gonna have a few beers. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get some THC this or I'm gonna whatever, because because that's that's what brings me joy, right? It's like, no. No. No, not anymore. Yeah. That, when you were in high school, like you made some really dumb decisions that yep. usually had some pretty severe consequences because you were doing those, choosing those things that were fun in the moment. Yeah. Right. And you fit in and it's cool and you're experimenting or whatever. And, but now that you've created this new life, this new man, as it were, right. Yep. Who's has this identity of who he is and the, the discipline that he thrives in. Yep. The fact that you would walk away from that thinking everything's going to be fine with no consequences is really kind of, it's kind of a bold choice yeah. to well, think and, that there wouldn't be any consequences. Yeah. And you just, for some reason you self justify. Oh right? yeah. You're like, well, this is going to be good for me. Right. And we were talking about this is there, I need a break. I need a break. And there is a men- I deserve a break. I deserve. Yeah. Like you're a dog. Like you deserve a treat. <laughs> yeah. Right. Reward. Um, but like there is a mental health aspect of this that I think in culture has been very pervasive. And I do think there is a, there is a lot of merit to it in, to a certain extent and degree. Right. Like we were even talking this morning while we were doing our 45 minute run. Um, I have been sleeping terribly recently. I've been feeling tired all the time. Um, feeling Same. really run down. I, yep. I got sick a few weeks ago, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Which is any type of sickness, like the only reason you get there is because you're compromised in some way. Immune system's shot, yep. And so, like, there's just a lot of writing on the wall for me that I'm like, man, I need to, I need to really hone some things in as far as my energy expenditure and just my vitality mm-hmm, right now. Mm-hmm. And so we, I tossed out this morning, like, hey, I might take like a week and I called it a break of training as hard as I've been training, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Now, this does not mean I'm going to go eat Taco Bell every day and, you know, do all these other things. It doesn't mean I'm not going to move at all and get no blood flow or exercise in at all. I'm just going to really let my foot off the gas and allow my mind, body, and spirit to just kind of take a, take a breather for a minute, right? And it's the idea of my car is still heading in the same direction. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to bring my foot off the gas a little bit to let the RPMs come down, to let the speed come down and let the intensity come down. But I'm not, I'm not flipping a UE and heading in the other direction, or I'm not pulling off the side of the road heading. Oh, this looks fun over here. Let's go do this. Right. But I think what happens is some guys use this excuse of, well, I need a mental health break. Well, if that's true, then wouldn't you want to do something that would actually improve your mental health? Not like I'm going to go slam a whole bottle of Jack Daniels and eat, you know, just greasy fried food for days on end because I'm calling it vacation mode and doing X, Y, and Z things that are not actually going to contribute to the betterment of your mental health. No, they're going to make you feel worse. Yeah. Period. Every time. Absolutely. There's, there's got to be intentionality, right? Yes. If you're taking a, a break intentionally to rest and recover, then you should be doing things thoughtfully. Yes. You should actually be executing things that you know are going to set you up to come back stronger than you were. Yeah. Right? Like, I can't imagine any, anybody thinking that, oh, if I go, you know, stay up all night and, you know, party this and do that. I'm going to show up on Monday and be ready to rock and just as good as I ever was. Yep. You know, there's, there's an aspect to this that if you're not intentional, you're, you're going to revert back to whatever you know to be comfortable. Yeah. Right. Whatever's safe, whatever's, and often it's the, old way of doing things yeah that you're familiar with yeah. right it's the familiarity of that drink the familiarity of that weed of, you know whatever that familiar you know that just laziness the gluttony right the familiarity of that i think is what is just this really easy sl- slippery slope yeah that catches guys off guard when they go on vacation mode. yeah well and again because you're always building momentum 
as soon as you start engaging with those behaviors, what you're doing is you're building momentum with those things. Mm -hmm. And so not only when you come off of vacation mode, do you have to get back on the other escalator, right? And you have to overcome that inertia and that momentum that you've been building with those things. Even if it's only been a few days or a week, Mm -hmm. you have to overcome that momentum and start building it again in the other direction, right? And what it, What this makes me think of, and it's a kind of a weird parallel, but farmers will often let certain parts of their land rest. Sure. Right. And because they don't want to overtax the soil, right? Because it starts to get, lose its nutrients and all of this. But what happens is when they, when they quote, let that land go on vacation mode and rest, what they're not doing is throwing, you know, trash on it and throwing tires on it Mm -hmm. and just like, you know, letting all these weeds grow and all of this stuff. Mm-hmm. No, they're, they're intentionally doing things. They're not putting the demand on the soil to produce the crop that year, but they're filling it with nutrients. Yeah, they're right? amending it. They're amending it, right? And it's like, I was telling you, I, I just, I've been more distracted lately, partially because of the lack of sleep and just the, the mind stuff. And so I don't have the luxury of being off of social media. Like some guys are, like part of how we grow the Iron Society is people see videos and they see my posts and they see all this stuff. And that requires me to be engaged on social media. Mm -hmm. But I was noticing, man, it's taking my mental bandwidth for these other things because I'm getting so distracted. And so what I'm doing now is I'm deleting Facebook and Instagram off my phone until I'm going to go use it. And so then I have to go through the process of downloading it again, logging in, all these things, right? And what that is allowing me to do is put more of the nutrients and the brain power that I do have into the things that are going to give me the forward progress that I desire, right? It doesn't mean that I'm going to completely forsake it because I can't, but I'm strategically and in a very calculated way, pulling back from that so that I can be focused in other areas. But when guys just want to go on this vacation mode, whether it's in the summer, whether it's when a baby comes, whether it is in Q4, like it's like, okay, Cool. And I, I actually heard somebody say recently, um, Labor Day is when they say people start declining because mm. like it's the end of summer. So they want to go out with a bang. Right. But that right there, people normally the way they eat, the stuff they start to do from Labor Day to the end of the year. Mm. Right? It's like the start of it because Labor Day starts it and then. Okay, kids go back to school, so we're more busy. Fall sports happen. Oh, football starts again, so I'm drinking a little more beer on the weekends with my buddies and eating these snacks. And, oh, college football. Okay, so we got Saturday and Sunday. Oh, and now we have Thursday night and Monday night football. If Because I know people watch this amount of football, oh, yeah. right? And, okay, we got, we're running around like crazy. And then we have um, Halloween happen. And whether you celebrate Halloween or not, I like, whatever. We're not here to talk about that right now. Um, and then Thanksgiving and then Christmas and Christmas parties and, oh, there's New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. And then you finally get to New Year's and it's like, I got to set this resolution because I am so far off track, (laughs) you know? Um, but we just start this decline of forsaking the disciplines that we've had in place that were there on purpose. Well, they were there on purpose. And and as far as the Iron Society goes, I mean, they part they become part of our identity. Yes. That's the beautiful thing about discipline. I think at, at at some point as you are on your walk with discipline, those those things that you're trying to be more disciplined in yep. just become ingrained in who you are. Yes. And it's it, it really doesn't take the effort to consistently do those things that took so much discipline in the beginning, waking up early, going to the gym, whatever it is, they're just a thing now. They're yes. no factor. Yep. They're they're not even a thought. It's just the alarm goes off, I get up. Yep. You know, I know I've got these tasks ahead of me because it's who I am. Yes. But I think that's the core of, of what I'm trying to say is the, the things that you do help make up who you are. And it's yes. the why behind why you do those things that are truly who you are. Yeah. You know, what you value, what you're aspiring to, so on and so forth, right? And, and we set protocols to enable us to fulfill those things, to fulfill those values, see those values come to pass and yep. be evident in your life. So when someone views you from the outside, they go, that guy values being healthy. Yeah. That guy value leads leading his family, so on yep. and so forth, right? So, And yet, we, 
all of a sudden, for whatever reason, in vacation mode, want to just abandon literally who we are. Yeah. If that's if that's what we're choosing to do, is to to go over here and pick back up these things that maybe it's something we used to struggle with, or, or not, right? Or try something new or whatever that's that's outside of your yep. values, outside of what you set for yourself and for your family that that's the other aspect of this is when 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 you fall you're you're letting your family down as well those around well, you down as well and that's what one of the guys in the iron society said it's when he went on vacation mode recently he came back and because of the decisions that they were making he saw a negative change in his wife yeah more anxiety he saw a negative change in his kids yep. he saw a negative like just kind of atmosphere in his home spiritual life like this does not just affect you right right and this is why one of my old pastors said everything you do is tied to a soul mm-hmm. right and mm-hmm. and even when i heard that back in the day, i was like ah whatever like screw that like it's, are you real, know man it's like you your decisions don't just affect you mm-hmm. so when you want to go on vacation mode or take a break and go off the rail a little bit Dude, that's, that's not just affecting you. Mm-hmm. That's affecting your wife. That's affecting your kids. That's affecting your job because you're going to show up differently, right? Which ultimately could affect your income and all these things. Yep. And as it pertains to discipline, like you were saying, what we were saying earlier is like, what is the point of discipline? Because some people just say discipline is the goal. I'm like, no, it's not. Discipline is not the goal. Mm-mm. The outcome of discipline is the goal, right? Yeah. And discipline is practice until permanent. And that's when wherever the switch flips because somewhere it does flip where it's no longer a discipline and it's just who you are. Yep. So when you want to quote, go on vacation mode and do these other things, what, what you're doing in reality is you're saying, I'm going to go behave and do things that are not who I am. Yeah. And I think that is part of the psychological spin up that mm-hmm. people get thrown into mm-hmm. because now they, they come back to quote real life. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I just lived the past weekend or week of my life as a completely different person. Yeah. And then you have this possible guilt and shame involved in it. And you have actual like hard, tangible ramifications because you don't feel as good. You're out of rhythm. So this is why just big picture. I just don't see the point of it. Yeah. I don't see the point of forsaking the momentum you've been building, the disciplines you've had in place, all for the sake of what? A, a mental break? It's not no a value. mental break. No, there's no value in it. It's not a mental break. It's mental poison yeah. is what it is. So I, 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 anybody listening, I would just want to challenge you as we head into Q4, as we head into the holidays, as we head into the new year, instead of taking a break right now, how about you figure out ways to build even more momentum? Even if you're taking your foot off the gas a little bit, you can still build momentum in the right direction yep. by letting your foot off the gas. And this is why, even in the Iron Society, we have a special program for the men inside that are choosing to do it called separation season. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When most people want to let their foot off the gas, October, November, December, we are having a 90-day sprint of achieving even more. And what that does is it sets you apart from where you would have been if you just would have coasted. Yeah. It sets you apart from your peers and contemporaries. And it, you then go into the new year, instead of having to set New Year's resolutions, you roll in with this momentum. Oh, yeah. And it's like, dude, I'm unstoppable, right? Because you chose to stay on the escalator that was taking you upward and forward instead of just completely getting off and going in a different direction. Yeah, I think separation season, that's, I would compare that more to like a rocket ship. A hundred percent. You're jumping on and, and you know, and only because of this strategic application, right? Yeah. There's so much intentionality, you know, involving reverse engineering, what, you know, how to obtain your goal and the accountability to get there, right? Yeah. Uh, I think there's, there's so many benefits. I'm really excited to see the outcomes of that yeah. here, you know, come come the end of the, uh, the session. Yeah. And, and one, as a positive to all of this, there is one gentleman in the Iron Society that joined a few months ago that, I mean, his entire life changed. His, mm. his, I mean, his marriage, he's, he's living back in his home now mm-hmm. because his wife saw the change in him. His marriage is doing better. He's doing better. Everything is doing better in his life. Mm-hmm. He, he recently, right now, currently, he is in Uganda doing some missions work. 
And what I've seen from him since he is in Uganda, he's in another country doing missions work. Yep. This is where a lot of people would say, I'm going to not do X, Y, and Z because I'm, I'm over here doing missions work. I'm doing the Lord's work. Yeah. I can't do all these other things I yeah. was doing. I Between can't do my non-negotiables. And the time right? change. Yeah. You know, different weather. He's eating the same thing breakfast, lunch, and dinner yeah, over he, there. Some he's, like corn, something or other. Yes, whatever the Ugandan food and is. Some beans or whatever. Yes. Like, like not his typical diet. But he's right? still working out. He's still posting his check ins and check outs in the group. He's still getting in the word and journaling. Yep. He's still investing in his wife. Yep. He's still investing in his kids while he's doing all these things. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you the reason, the biggest reason why people, like in my former, business that I used to have with one-on-one -on -one coaching. The biggest reason people said no was one money. They didn't want to pay up, right? They don't want to put the money where their mouth is Two, They said, I'm just busy right now. Mm. I, so I can't focus on this. Mm. And this is where I would tell them. And I'll tell you if you're listening or you, if you're watching on YouTube, if you are a man that can be disciplined and you can build momentum in busy and chaotic seasons, you are a dangerous man mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. first of all life is typically always busy in some regard you can make it busy doesn't yes. mean it's productive yes but in general people have people have busy lives yes. right it's just it's the world we live they in now people have busy lives have, yes so to say i'm going to wait for a non-busy season what you're really saying is i'm not ever going to commit to change mm -hmm. but two if you learn in the midst of busyness and chaos how to be disciplined, how to hit your target, and how to go in a certain direction, when life does slow down a little bit, dude, you're, you, like, you just got like jet fuel added to your engine, right? Because you were able to maintain your momentum and direction even when the odds were stacked against you. And that's what I'm seeing with this guy. He's in another country. He got on the freaking call last night at 3.30 a.m. Uganda time yep. because... It's part of what he does. He engages with the community and the brotherhood. He stays consistent. Yep. Right? So, yeah, that's that. Anyways, keep building momentum. Don't take these little breaks that aren't really helpful. Yeah. Stop trying to trick yourself into thinking they're helpful because they're not. Yep. Right? I think that's all we got. Don't believe the lies. Don't believe the lies. There is your calling, your potential, and your purpose are way too big yep. and massive from God to allow the enemy to trick you into thinking, hey, I'll just take this little break. It won't do anything. Yes, it will. Don't take the bait. Don't be tricked. Keep building momentum and keep moving forward. Yep. There's consequences for every action, right? Good Absolutely. Absolutely. Period. So we love you guys. We thank you so much for listening to this. Again, if this is on YouTube, man, like, subscribe, leave a comment. This is great. And if you don't see it on YouTube, something happened in post where I couldn't post it. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, keep building momentum, keep, keep winning, stay disciplined, do all the things, because listen, this life is not just about you, it's about your wife, your family, your legacy, and the people around you, um, and if you need a place to get the framework and the accountability and the brotherhood to build that and become the man that you're called to be, the Iron Society is where you want to be. End of story. Um, it is where you will transform your life. We've just seen it over and over again. Yep. So this is not theory. Tried um, and true. This is tried and true. So we love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Out. Hey, one thing before you go, if you got any value out of today's episode, we would so appreciate a five-star rating and review wherever you are listening to this podcast, as well as, hey, take a picture with your phone of you listening, take a screenshot and post it to social media. Go ahead and tag me, at Cody Chapman, and you can tag Nick as well, at the Nick Milligan. Also, if you want to learn more about the Iron Society, you can head on over to ironsociety.co to learn more. We'll see you next week.